I want to talk about this lens right here. This is the Fujifilm XF 18 to 120 millimeter f4 power zoom WR because this lens does not get enough love. And this lens was glued onto my Fujifilm X-T5 for 90% of the trip. I just want to give this lens some more love because not a lot of people are talking about this lens. Me personally, I think this lens was great for a three week trip in Italy. So I've been using this lens for close to nine months now. This lens for me is a video centric lens first, but when I do go on these mini trips around Europe, it becomes my travel lens. Now what makes this a great travel lens is its focal length. Holy heck, it's versatile. I find myself using the entire range. You can go as wide as the 18 and go as long as 120 millimeter. I didn't want to keep switching lenses in public when you got like tourists swarming everywhere. You know, like stopping dead in the tracks and opening up my camera bag and exposing the bag to like the thousands of people walking through the center. It didn't seem like a good idea. Uh, the 18 to 120 f4 is was the only lens that I needed. And walking around Rome and exploring the ancient city of Pompeii was where I was able to see this lens shine. Wide shot, no problem. You want to see the detail shots up in the ceiling? No problem. Just zoom in to 120 millimeter and capture it. That wasn't an issue for me at all which is freaking great. Another thing I want to talk about is the X-T5. Uh, it recently had a firmware update that helped with its autofocusing. And I think the autofocusing did get a bit better from pre-firmware update. Uh, one of the many hats that I wear is being an Instagram husband. I have to take some photos of the wife so she can have like pretty nice photos for her social media. One thing I told her to do was to stand across the street from me while I zoom all the way in to get some compression. I did it with this shot right here of Naples in Naples and the background. I wanted to show the background since I think it looks interesting with all the buildings and the people. And I thought it did a decent job acquiring focus. I had the eye and the face tracking on it and it felt stickier than pre-firmware updates. So I'm quite satisfied. There are a few instances where I found that the AF to be on the fritz where it would just autofocus on the background instead of the subject. And it took about a second or two for it to pick up the face again. But saying that, the keepers that I got, I was very happy with. So there you have it. I just wanted to give this lens a little bit more love since the preview said this lens is the worst lens of 2022. I honestly don't believe that to be the case. Sure, it's not a sharp photo lens that Fujifilm has put out, but I have to remind you guys that this is a video centric lens first. With its power zooming and with its zoom being internal so the lens barrel doesn't extend, it makes this a great lens option for gimbals. So that's more reasons to put this in the category of a video centric lens first but in a pinch this lens is a good photography lens the focal ranges proves to be versatile as a travel lens for me i'm satisfied with the images i took from this trip it has all the focal lengths you you really need to go on a trip with 18 to 120 millimeter man in full frame terms that's like 27 to 180 millimeter full frame equivalent that's just freaking amazing. That's a lot of range. That's a lot of zoom from travel shots, landscape shots, detail shots to being an Instagram husband and taking photos of the wife. I think it's a capable lens. It gets the job done and I'm pretty happy with this purchase. I'm pretty happy with the results that I've been getting. It served me quite well on this Italy trip. And if you're interested, I'll leave the links to this lens down in the description below. But yeah, 
Those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts on the 18 120 millimeter f4 power zoom lens? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful in any way, consider subscribing to my channel where I do a lot of Fuji content on this channel. And as always, my name is Tung. I'll see you in the next video.